Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Someone learned from this morning. So again, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Yes, those are my students. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Linda Scott. I am the dean of the UW-Madison School of Nursing. I have so enjoyed having an opportunity to speak to our new students this morning. It is now my pleasure to be with you again this afternoon for what we call the White Coat Ceremony. I would also like to extend a warm welcome to the family and other supporters of our new students who are joining us for this ceremony, either here in the Cooper Hall Auditorium or from our remote sites. Thank you for being a part of this special experience. Yes, you can go ahead and clap. <laughs> Today marks a milestone for each of our new students joining the educational community in the School of Nursing. Students, I know that you have received a great deal of information today. Even though you may feel a bit overwhelmed, I hope that you feel encouraged and motivated by what has been shared with you throughout the day. Now is a time to celebrate your decision to pursue a nursing degree that will position you to be a leader for the profession and for society. It is also a time for celebration among the family members and friends who have been with you along the way. And I would, at this point in time, just like to pause and let you congratulate your, your family and friends who have supported you. So let's give them a hand. I would also like to acknowledge that you will be guided and encouraged by an entire network of people who you don't know yet. They make up our School of Nursing community. You will soon come to understand the level of support that they will provide. They are here for you now as you transition into your nursing education throughout the next two years and after you graduate and join the profession as a Badger nurse. The White Coats you will receive today are gifts to you. Some of them have been provided by alumni and friends. Others are from members of the School of Nurses, Nursing's Board of Visitors. Still others are sponsored by our faculty and staff. The enthusiasm for sponsoring a white coat for new students signifies that you are joining a community that believes in you. I hope each of you will feel that sense of connection to those around you and those who have come before you. We want you to experience a sense of belonging here that grows over time. Cooper Hall should always feel like a home to you and a place where you know you can seek comfort, even in challenging times. Being a nursing student is not easy. It will challenge you, but it will also develop you along the way. You will grow personally and intellectually as you learn the art and science of nursing. The science of nursing is the systematic knowledge that you will use to provide quality, comprehensive care to patients, families, and communities. The art of nursing is the manner in which you will deliver that care. It is the science balanced with the art that changes the lives of individuals, families, communities, and populations. You will become leaders who advocate for equity in health, in the profession, and in society. The aspiration to create change is not too big. And I assure you, you are in the right place to begin this transformation. Our legacy of leadership in nursing education is nearing 100 years. We are proud of this past and are ready to guide your development into Badger nurses who are prepared for the future. And now with that, it is indeed my pleasure to invite Dr. Lisa Bratsky, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, to speak. Oh, she, sh she shrunk. <laughs> uh, Dr. Bratsky. <laughs> I am always asked to follow the impossible act, act so <laughs> thank you, Dean Scott. It is truly great seeing all of you with us to celebrate this moment, momentous occasion, as we welcome our students into the clinical portion of their nursing academic career. I would like to give you a brief history about the white coat ceremony. 
Arnold P. Gold, MD, began the white coat ceremony in medical schools to remind medical students of their professional obligations to provide humanistic, compassionate care and to practice medicine in uprightness and honor. In nursing, the white coat ceremonies have been enacted as a visual reminder of the obligation nurses take to provide compassionate, high quality, humanistic care, including empathy for the human condition and suffering. According to the American Association of Colleges of Nursing, AACN, the, ground the groundbreaking collaboration between the Gold Foundation and AACN launched in 2013 has enabled 310 schools of nursing in 49 states to offer the ceremonies designed to instill a commitment to providing compassionate care among the next generation of registered nurses. Switching gears just a little bit, I now have the distinct pleasure of introducing our student speaker, MJ Joseph. MJ is originally from Kenosha, Wisconsin, and she serves on the board of two student health organizations on campus, HOSA, which is the Health Occupation Students of America, and SNA, our Student Nursing Association. She is also actively involved as one of our ambassadors for the School of Nursing, where she contributes daily to the support and growth of our programs. MJ hopes to pursue a career in acute care with plans to further her education as a DNP to serve as a nurse practitioner in an emergency department or ICU. We are thrilled that she had the time to join us today, given all of her busy, all of her other obligations. So please join me in welcoming MJ to the podium. I would first like to thank Dean Scott and the rest of the faculty and staff of the School of Nursing for this opportunity. I remember how important and awe-inspiring my own wind ceremony was a year ago, so it is my pleasure to speak today. Now, on to you, the newest class of UW-Madison nursing students. Congratulations. Your years of late-night late studying and dedication have paid off. You are about to start a journey to join a career filled with people who are driven to work as a team to not only better the world, but humanity as a whole. Recently, I had the chance to ask a room full of people what came to mind when they heard the word nurse. Kind, compassionate, trustworthy. These are all words thrown into consideration. While being a nurse is being those things, I would like to add that it is also being innovative, being a leader, and being an advocate, while at the same time being hope in the eyes of those at their most vulnerable. I understand the feelings you may be experiencing as you sit in this auditorium, sitting next to friends or strangers or, more accurately, strangers who after today will become friends. I'm willing to bet you have feelings of excitement, but also fear, because you don't know what is ahead of you. So, as an upperclassman, let me give you a glimpse of what to expect. Expect late nights trying to come up with silly little rhymes to remember important mechanisms or drug interactions. Expect to smell strange things in patient rooms, but also expect to cry and connect with those same patients. Expect to laugh until your sides hurt with your clinical group in the middle of Cooper Hall while everyone else gives you funky stares. But most importantly, expect to work hard. It's as Theodore Roosevelt said, quote, nothing in the world is worth having or worth doing unless it means effort, pain, or difficulty. I have never in my life envied a human being who led an easy life. I have envied a great many people who led difficult lives and led them well." End quote. I won't lie to you. The next couple years, they're going to be difficult. However, it is an adventure that is worth more than you can understand right now. I am extremely excited for all of you and proud to be one of the first to see the next generation of Badger nurses. Once again, congratulations and good luck. You'll do amazing. Thank you, MJ, for your thoughtful reflection on the pathway to becoming a nursing student and for your words of advice. I'm confident that your encouraging and supportive words have already positively influenced our new class of nursing students. Now it is my pleasure to ask Assistant Dean Katie Blyer to the podium, as well as Associate Dean Dr. Susan Zahner, 
Clinical Associate Professor, Professor and Undergraduate Program Director, Dr. Dana O'Brien, and Clinical Coordinator, Heidi Newhauser, and Dean Scott, at Dean Scott, <laughs> to come forward and to begin the cloaking segment of our ceremony. Edelman, Alexa Lipman, Sophia Lasala, Philia Gillies. Elizabeth Kamen, Megan Viam, Peter Walker. Megan Keith, Jade Beth Keith, Eric Brown, Naira Henning. Hefner, Holly Adames, no, sorry, Holly Adams, Nicole Bartels, Juliana Lucio. Peterson, Amber Ray Ishii, Jonah Shemansky, Harry Mahaffey.
Christiana Tron Juan. Carolyn Garvey McNeil. Anna Micaiah Williams. Jack Zangle. Chua Zong, Isabella Christie, Vivian Dang, Calvin Lee, Diana Nava Garcia, Addison Goody, Kaylin Carr, Andrew Guyhan. Weinberger, Emma Elizabeth Peterson Johnson, Adolis Ologe Villanueva, Jasmine Nugal. Lindsay Skaliki, Taylor Marie Jaslin, Kylie Christine Weigel, Gavino Gatika. Josh Olson, Chikere June Odaucha, Andy Callis, Grace Schumacher. Matu Jalo, Kayla Bellany, Maddie Caroline Jures, Megan Lorenz. Emma Addison Froelich, Sammy Lanekey, Brissa Marie Donnelly, Daniel Dixon.
Madeline Webler, Taylor Pry, Aubrey Hermson, Ryan Waldner. Cassie Trout, Caroline Kennefick, Anna Rice, Ashley Cheney. Jennifer Novotny, Emily Tang, Alexis Losi, Peyton Alexis Kane. Zubkis, Reeve Wittenberg, Anna Nolden, Annika Jacket. Alaka Jean Kramer, Teresa Schnell Harrison, Ashley Deloro, Jen excuse me, Janelle Burke. Amanda Noel Cook, Jennifer Halverson, J.D. Yance, Trinity Page Rail. Alexander Brooks, Amy Baselogger, Katie Kurth, Maddie Klein. Madeline Pecky, Kaden Niebuhr, Kylie Cook, Rachel Schluter. Samantha Faye Olson, Linda Underwood, Peyton Ava Zerflu, Natalie Vandenhoogle.
Sienna Carolyn Rasmussen, Cameron Griswold, Sydney Nelson, Faith Ingebretson. Madeline Bizjak, Kayla Hovela, Emma Shear, Alexandra Lynn Goldenberg. Jensen, Mackenzie Blees, Natalie Halderson, Ryan Wyland. Amber Lee, all right, here we go. Am, Amber Lee Schroffnagel. Marina Orlowski. Rowan Kalup. William John Kronschnabel. Joshua Prado, Deneen Tremblay, Maya Staler, Dosha Martinka. Alexandra Mentik, Jenna Marie Pula George, Haley Reeve, Lucy Thema. Christie, Katie Minnes, Amy Elizabeth Padia, Mina Alvarado. Karch, Guillermo Kaicho, Harley Jensen, Avery Whitbeck. silence. 
All right, we're going to keep going. Wen Shu Wu. Feng Wang. Caitlin Drake. Marissa Lambert. Marie Matheny, Alexander Mackey, Bridget Gunin, Abigail Grebo. Demney, Risa Honer, Henna Rosa. Marie Pluger, Aladia Rosabel Torres Ilk. Chewy Pina, Teresa Finn Zauner, Claudia Miller.
Thank you students, faculty, and Dean Scott. It truly is a sight to see all of you here in your white coats. It's now my pleasure to introduce and welcome Dr. Dana O'Brien, the undergraduate program director, to the podium. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. And exactly, I was here earlier this morning speaking to them and hope I didn't scare them off too much. Um, but it's great to see this, um, that you're all able to get these white coats with your friends and family here this evening. UW-Madison is nationally known for its excellence in preparing nurse leaders. You will learn from nursing faculty who are engaged in groundbreaking research and innovative evidence-based practice that are changing the lives of Wisconsin residents and beyond. You will also learn in a state-of-the-art environment, which is the envy of most nursing programs. I encourage you to get to know your faculty. Take advantage of all the learning opportunities that will be offered to you. In recognition of your commitment to quality nursing, I would like to ask all of our new students to rise as they are able. Please turn to the oath in your program. Dean Scott, will you please lead our students in reciting the oath? And before I do, I would also like to ask my nurse colleagues who are in the room, any of our nurses who are in our active learning classrooms, um, in Enroth, and those of you are at home who have this, um, please join us in reciting the nurse's oath. Ready? Okay. As a nurse dedicated to providing the highest quality care and services, I solemnly pledge that I will consider the welfare of humanity and relief of suffering my primary concerns, act in a compassionate and trustworthy manner in all aspects of my care, exercise sound professional judgment while abiding by legal and ethical requirements, accept the lifelong obligation to improve my professional knowledge and competence, Promote, advocate for, and strive to protect the health, safety, and rights of the patient. With this pledge, I accept the duties and responsibilities that embody the nursing profession. I take this oath voluntarily with the full realization of the responsibilities with which I am entrusted by the public. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you, Dean Scott. Students, you may be seated, as you already are. <laughs> Please, now, I want you to reach in your pocket um, and pull out a sealed envelope that was placed in there. Once you take that out, please go ahead and open it and take a moment to read through it. I'm gonna call on three names to read, the, to read their note to the group. So I'll have you stand up. Darby will bring the microphone to you and I'll have you read that note out loud. Sophia LaSala. <laughs> Hold on for Darby. I wish you well in your nursing path, and I hope you will never lose your appreciation for all the opportunity to impact health outcomes for all. Whether your path is most defined by research, education, or practice, may you always be the nurse leader that is needed where you are. Congratulations and very best of luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> Paul Lynch. Can you stand up? Oh, perfect. Everything you've been through has led you to this moment, and who you are is part of what will make you a great nurse. Never stop growing, 
learning, and evolving. Welcome to nursing. <laughs> Thank you. Alexandra Goldenberg. Um, nursing is a profession that allows you to head in many different directions. Never be afraid to follow new, exciting opportunities that arise. You are smart, strong, and capable. You are a Badger nurse. Thank you so much for sharing your notes with everyone. These notes and words are from Badger nurses, alumni, that take pride in being part of the Badger nurse community, a community that you are now a part of. Over the next two years, you're going to be challenged and stretched as you move through the traditional BSN program. I encourage you to use these challenges as opportunities to become the best nurse that you can be. I encourage you to get to know your faculty, take advantage of the many excellent learning opportunities. As we conclude our white coat ceremony, we would like to commemorate this occasion with a procession led by Dean Scott through the classrooms where our guests have been viewing this ceremony. We will then end with a class photo. Yes, please remain seated until we share that we have completed the class photo. At that time, we will invite all students and guests to join the faculty and staff for a reception. Students, we're gonna motion you to stand and walk out of the auditorium. You may leave your belongings here until we are finished with the class photo. And congratulations, each and every one of you.
Not quite yet. Almost done. We're going to play the song one more time for you. (laughs) 